Hi folks, this is Nicole and I'm here to show you how to use ChemDraw Professional um, for the work that you'll need to do in Sophomore Organic at Portland State. So to start out, we're going to go File and New ACS Document 1986. You can also go File, Open Style Sheets and choose that type. But we want to make sure we're in that type of ACS 1996 document because it'll make everything look correct. So now that I'm here, I've got this big open window and I can use this toolbar here to start drawing a molecule. So I'm going to put that there. I can add more bonds, just like the single bond tool. Highlight on something and click from it and you can create a bond off of it. And again here, if I want to add a bond with some stereochemistry, I can choose the wedge here. Well, let's say I want to make another stereo center here. Great. Now these two, let's say I don't want them to be carbons. The easiest way to do this is to go to view periodic table window and I can choose what I want them to be. Let's say one of them is going to be a bromine. Just wait until it turns on that and click there. And now it's a bromine. And the other one, I want to be a nitrogen. I can click the nitrogen. I can also just go hover over this and then hit N on my keyboard and it will become an NH2. Let's say I want to add a charge to that. I can hold down on this button and choose the charge I want. I'm going to make it a positive charge and then select the atom I want to charge. So if I charge this nitrogen here, you'll notice not only do I get the positive charge symbol, but I also get one more hydrogen. So if I want to add a chain of a defined length, I can click where I would like to add it from and this will pop up. And let's say I'm going to make a four carbon chain here. All right, so some other things you can do that are really useful. If you go over and highlight on a stereo center and right click, you can get this nice big pile of things that it'll let you do. But one of the more interesting ones is show stereochemistry and it will show you the stereochemistry for that center. And the same thing over here, just show stereochemistry. It will do the same thing with double bonds. So here it will tell me if I show stereochemistry if it's E or Z. Okay. If say I want to add something and I want to make sure it's Z, that's not going to give me Z. So I'm going to get rid of this and then when I do this, just hold down as you're doing this and you can change the bond angle. All right, and then now I can do this. And if I show stereochemistry, you'll see that the Z's. Okay, so I've got this compound, not quite sure what it is. So we're gonna bring up another toolbar and that is view and analysis window. And this gives me the chemical formula and then also view and structure toolbar. And this is gonna give me a lot of really useful tools. So the analysis toolbar is also going to give me an MZ, which is very useful. Um, and I can also highlight my compound. Use, I just use the lasso key usually and highlight over it. Or you can do control A if it's the only thing on your screen. And let's give this a name. So down in the structure toolbar, you'll notice there's this little structure to name button. I'm going to hit that and it will give me the IUPAC name for this compound. Okay. And let's say I think this might be the structure of my unknown. I can simulate an NMR spectrum and see if the simulated spectrum creates a is a pattern that matches my experimental one. So I just hit this button here, 1H, and it generates a new window with a simulated spectrum. 
and you can see here it's also going to tell you which peaks that it's simulated are assigned to which hydrogen. Now the exact position of these peaks is going to vary um, from what you'll see experimentally. It's also not really going to be as great about predicting um, second order splitting and um, long range splitting, but it is pretty good at helping you predict overall patterns um, and ranges to look for, and then using relative positions in this to do assignments. So this is a really useful tool. And so let's say, you know, this is a close match, but not quite the what I want. There's, you know, not this peak here. So this, you'll notice when I highlight over a peak, it highlights up in the structure with a little green square what where the protons associated with it are. So let's say that this peak isn't present. Well, okay, maybe this is simply not there. This is somewhere else. Who knows? In any case, you can do that to troubleshoot and go back and forth. And I just close this out when I'm done. Sorry for the noise. Okay, let's say I do think this is correct. Okay, so I'm gonna highlight it again. And the easiest way to put this into your Word document for your um, report form is to highlight it and Control C or Edit Copy, whichever you prefer, and then go over to my Word document and paste it over there. And it might take a moment because my computer's slow, but there you go. I not only have, because I put the name you know, the structure, but because I had the name generated by the program, I now have this, the name right under my structure, just like your reports ask you to do. So that is most of what we need to do. One of the other things that is very useful to know about um, is that you can go from a structure to a name to a structure. So let's say um, we're talking about acid analyte again, and I can't remember what it looks like. I can just click that button, enter the name, and now I have acid analyte. And isn't that great? Okay, so we've covered drawing molecules, finding stereochem inputting and stereochemistry and charges, and simulating spectra. So I think those are the main tools you are going to need as you work through sophomore organic chemistry. If you've got any questions, feel free to leave them below or get in touch. And best of luck and stay safe out there, folks.